Hi guys, so this is my packing video for Glastonbury. I'm just going to show you the things that I am taking with me in case it gives you some inspiration. I'm going to be working at Glastonbury with a company called Festaff or Fee Staff or I don't really know how you pronounce it but uh, basically me and my housemate Beth we're going to be stewarding so we're going to be there for the whole week um, Monday till Monday yeah Monday to Monday so there's a whole week of camping and packing to be done for so I'm going to get straight into it. We all need them to keep us clean and hygienic so um, because we're working we have access to showers so I'm bringing shampoo and conditioner in these little bottles which I got from Primark and some earbuds because they're always useful you never know when you're gonna need to like get some gunk out your ears you know, who knows what you're gonna get in your ears um, and then for cleaning me when I don't want to have a shower or I can't be bothered I've got some wet wipes these are the ones from Primark um, it's got the body wipes and the face wipes in a two-pack and it was a pound for both, so woo. I might not, I'm probably not gonna take the face wipes though, just take the body wipes, because to clean my face, I'm going to use the Nivea Cleanser and Toner 2-in-1, which I've put in a little bottle already, and this muslin cloth, just cause it's gonna be less wasteful, it's gonna get makeup and crap off my face better, and my face will just feel nicer afterwards, so I didn't think that was much hassles bringing that, as opposed to a pack of wipes, they're like the same size so I can live with a little bit of luxury. So after I've cleaned my face in the morning, I'm gonna to wanna to put moisturizer on, so I am bringing this, which is my Botanics Shine Away Day Cream SPF 15, which I'm bringing it for the SPF, blah, I can't talk. I'm bringing it for the SPF, really, um, and to moisturize my face and, you know, get me going for the day, and it's quite a small pot, so travel size. Of course, I'm bringing a toothbrush and toothpaste. I've got this little toothbrush, which comes in a holder and then it folds out like this so you know your bristles don't get all gunky and I need to get another toothpaste because this is like running out these are like the free ones you get from the dentist so I might stop by my dentist and get another free one of them so they are to clean my teeth I'm also bringing some after sun I do have some sun cream but that is going to be in my handbag so this is just stuff that's not going to be in my handbag so it says body lotion but it's after sun in a little bottle because I can also use it as moisturiser if I get like dry knees or something um, or if I get burnt. Toilet roll. Uh, this is toiletries so definitely going to need a toilet roll. Um, I hear that portaloos run out like very frequently so I'm just going to have this in the tent and then like if you need to blow your nose in the night or spill something wipe it up it's just handy to have some toilet roll. Contact lenses so that I can see and I've got a whole week's worth here because I'm hoping that it'll be sunny and then I want to wear sunglasses and I can't wear sunglasses over the top of my glasses and my sunglasses aren't pre prescription ones so contact lenses and they're just the daily disposable ones so I don't have to be bothering bo bother with the so I don't have to be bothering with like fluid and the little pots and everything literally put them in and then throw them away at the end of the day and put a new pair in the next day so they are good I have a little tiny compact mirror so that I can see my face. I think I got this in a Christmas calendar, uh, no, a Christmas cracker, so little free thing and it folds up quite small. Some nice drugs, uh, I've got some paracetamol and some Wilco own brand Imodium because you never know when you're gonna need a bit of diarrhea relief. I hear it's quite bad on festival campsites so bringing them just in case, you know, it's better to have them than to need them and not have them. Makeup wise, I am bringing not very much. I'm bringing my Wake Me Up mascara from Rimmel, just because it's a good one. I'm bringing my L'Oreal Superliner, just in case I want a bit of eyeliner. I'm bringing my Wake Me Up concealer, in case I look terrible and haggard and want to look a bit better. And then I was going to bring the Benefit Bikini Teeny uh, liquid eyeshadow, but I don't think I'm going to anymore. I'm going to bring the Benefit High Beam instead because I can use that as an eyeshadow. I've got it on today, or under the eyes if I need to look more awake, or you know if I want some glitter going on. So I'm just going to bring that little sample size as sort of an all-purpose thing. I might not even use it, but you know, 
at least I've got it with me if I decide to. Hair stuff. We all have hair and that seems to be one of the things that girls most worry about on holidays. So dry shampoo. This is the, uh, they, this is the Superdrug own brand one and I actually really like this one. Like I think I like it better than Batiste. Like that's bold, it's a bold move but I really like it and it's the uh, blonde one so it's got like yellow so you don't have like white bits in your hair. Really good for texturising and getting rid of those greasy roots. Next I have some um, what's this called? It says styling mist but it's a salt spray um, and it smells like mango and vanilla and coconut so it smells good. I'm gonna spray this in my hair and then plait my hair when I go to bed so that when I wake up it'll be all nice and woo! Hair accessories, I'm bringing this flower crown which is looking a little bit dishevelled but you know it's subtle and this hair tie with flowers on from Primark. And then of course I'm also bringing my hairbrush. <laughs> Essentials. So this is the bag that I'm going to be taking. Whoa! It's just a pretty sturdy fake leather backpack which I got off eBay and it's got lots of nice pockets so I'm going to be taking that and in it I'm going to have sun cream. This is Factor 30 and it's that one that you spray and you don't really have to rub in very much so nice and convenient. Deodorant to stop me being smelly and this one kind of acts as perfume as well so I will smell nice as well as not smelling bad. Is that a thing? Yeah. Disposable camera, just because these are fun, like these are great and then at the end of the week you get to get them developed and you know you can't remember what the picture's taken and you're probably not going to be in half of them but still it's just fun. And I'm also going to be taking my actual camera which I'm currently filming on so I'm not going to show you that because that'd be like camera reception. But um, hopefully I'm going to try and vlog during the week if my battery holds out. I am going to bring, be bringing the charger and we do have access to plugs so hopefully it should be okay. So hopefully you'll get to see a vlog after after Glastonbury. Plasters, because you always get blisters or cuts or any other sorts of ailment that can be cured by plasters. Torches, because it gets dark at campsites and you might need to find your tent. So I have these two little ones that I found. But yeah, I do need to find like a bigger torch or, you know, a more sturdy torch than these two little tiny ones. But these are good handbag sized ones. Pad and pen in case you need to like give someone your number or write down what time an act is on or anything. It's just a handy thing to have. Water because you're going to need to drink lots to stay hydrated. I'm probably going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to have time to get a more sturdy bottle than this but I might get a, like a smaller one maybe and just refill it more often so I'm not lugging around like a great heavy thing of water. Poncho! Hopefully it's not going to rain too bad but in case I am bringing my neon pink huge rain poncho and this is also really good for sitting on if I need to sit down at any point in the day which I'm sure I will can sit on it because it's waterproof. Hand sanitizer because um, bathrooms are dirty and you want to clean your hands like before you eat and stuff so I've got two little ones. Sunglasses, these are my ones from, oh I can't get them out, these are my ones from River Island, just little cat eye ones um, and a little case to put them in so that I can see when it's sunny. Tissues and wet wipes for when you run out of toilet paper in the toilet or you know if you want to get some rubbish off your hands or anything. Good to have. Chapsticks because we get dry lips. This is the Burt's Bees one with pomegranate oil. Any medication. This is my contraceptive pill which I meant to take in the morning and I know that I will forget so I'm going to put it in my handbag so I will remember at some point in the day and take it then. Like if you have any medication that you have to take before food or something, you don't want to have to go back to your tent to get it, so put it in the handbag. And then I'm taking this little pouchy across the body dealio for my valuables, 
um, and I've got my purse in here which has got my ID, bank card, some cash and my rail card because I'm getting the train down there. So I'm just going to keep everything nice and safe in here and keep that on me so that I know where it all is, just for my own peace of mind. that I thought of that haven't been covered in any of the categories. Warm PJs. It's cold in England and you want some warm PJs to keep you warm at night when you're in your sleeping bag. Plastic bags. If your tent leaks or you need to put some muddy shoes in here, put your dirty washing in, collect your rubbish from your tent, plastic bags are just useful things to have. Duct tape. Mine's got macaroni cheese on it because I got it from America and they just have really cool tape in America like we just have the boring stuff but this stuff's cool anyway again fixing tents tying stuff together I don't know it's a useful thing to have like a plaster if you run out of plasters put some tissue and masking tape and you know it's just a good thing to have snacks I'm bringing some cereal bars and some Weetabix minis. I'm gonna take these all out of the boxes so they don't take up as much room. Just so that I've got like breakfast and a snack because festival food is expensive and I don't wanna be spending money where I don't need to. Finally, chargers. Um, I know a lot of people who are going to festivals won't have access to power so you can get those little portable charger things, but I do. So I'm making sure that I'm bringing my phone and my camera charger so that I will <coughs> be able to know where everyone is and everything and take pictures and vlog for you guys. <laughs>